Hi, I'm Gabby Young and together with Simple Sew, I'm going to show you some essential sewing skills. We're going to cover all the basics so that you can make their lovely new collection and make an outfit like I'm wearing. Enjoy! So today I'm going to show you how to sew bias binding using the armhole of the Peter Pan blouse from Simple Sew's new collection. I'm using one centimetre shop bought bias binding and just starting off I'm going to fold over one of the ends to connect to the side seam of the armhole. Pop a pin in there and you want to do the same the whole way around with the right side of the bias binding facing the right side of the fabric and you just unfold the top of the bias binding and pin the raw edges together. And when you get to the end, you just want to leave a bit of a longer tail at the end so that you can overlap it when you're sewing. Okay, let's sew it up. So over to the sewing machine. It does get quite tricky, they are quite hard to hold together, so just make sure they're really well pinned and then just move them carefully under the sewing machine. Place your presser foot down so that the needle is in line with the fold of the bias binding. You really want it to be in line there. And then you just do a little back stitch and then sew the whole way around carefully, keeping those stitches in the fold of the bias binding. When you get to the end there, you can just cut that tail off now and just sew over it so it nicely overlaps the beginning of the circle. Sew over both ends overlapping and then backstitch a few times just to hold those stitches in place. So you can see all the stitches align with the fold of the bias there. Now we're just going to trim off the excess just Half of the seam allowance would be fine. For the next bit, you simply fold over the bias binding. Now, there's already a crease in shop bought bias that you can use as a guide, but you're just folding it in half so that the other fold is on the wrong side of the fabric. And then stick a pin in that and do that the whole way around, just folding it carefully as you go on that crease. Once you've pinned the whole way round, you're going to sew along the bottom edge of the bias binding, really close to where the fabric meets the bias. So place your presser foot over, lower down your needle, do a little back stitch and sew through the bias binding. And then just sew round, be really careful because it is very easy to veer off here, so you need to make sure that you're staying as close to the line where the bias meets the fabric. But this really is the trickiest bit about bias binding and you will get better at it, don't worry, my first lot was awful. So once you've sewn the whole way around, trim all the loose ends and there you go, you've got bias binding! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you! Yeah.